Gotta put all the snakes back. You gotta be. Make sure you're clean, right? Got one glove. Whatever. So we're gonna go in no order at all. I'm gonna just pull the snakes out. They've been soaking a little while, so it's probably been, it's been a few hours. All of the bins are empty. I refilled, cleaned the water bowls. We changed the paper. So everything's done. Everything's set back up. So all I need to do is just move the snake in. All right? So that's this rack and this rack. And then, uh, whoa, why is it so crooked? So yeah, nothing fancy. We're not gonna move anything around. I'm just gonna put everything back in where they go right now. Woo! All right, Pablo, they've all been soaking for a few hours, so it's perfect. I'm gonna feed everyone, um, I'm gonna feed everyone tomorrow. So I'll pull the food out probably tonight, let it soak, and then start feeding maybe like tomorrow morning or something. Little tiger rat snake in the water. <laughs> yeah, she's doing so good. I can't wait to get her in a in a nice tank so you can see her. I'll probably get like an arboreal tank for her, like a glass one. I'm not a big fan of glass tanks. I had some when I first got into it. That you just start buying all these glass tanks. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not really a fan of having it a bunch of them now. I really, really like these rack systems, honestly. The rack systems and the PVC cages, the one-piece molded PVC cages that I don't have to put together or anything like that. So Vision, Boa File, I have those showcase cages behind you. They're all one-piece cages other than the sliding glass door, so they're all solid. Don't have to put anything together. Those are my favorite cages on top of these Vision racks or in a, any kind of rack system basically. These melamine cages are kind of whatever, they work. Most of your local, like we go to the Serpentarium, they had them in there, so they're easy because you can just pick them up right then and there. Um, but as for longevity, they're not gonna last as long as the PVC one, so I've sold a few of them. This is my only one that I have right now. And it's hanging on strong. I just went off on a rant out of nowhere. Oh yeah, Captain. Okay, so Captain, I do actually have one more. It's a four by two cage, that's melamine. And that one for Captain, he's the bearded dragon, is by far like the coolest cage for him because it's big and open. I had him in a showcase cage before and it was just like a sad time for him. So these, with it being all white, the light is real bright inside the cage. It just looks good for that bearded dragon, so. There is a use for them, definitely. For an Asian water monitor, it just works for now. All right, so this one is a Metroid. And uh, even though I have multiple blacktail unicolor Crevos, I can just tell, um, you know, just the slight differences, um, differences in them and, and which ones are which, at least for mine, is what I mean, so. I'm not too worried about getting these ones mixed up. Maybe as they're when they're adults, it might be they might start blending, but I can really tell the differences of each one that I have. I put in a lot of time, honestly. Well, not the most time in the world, but for as long as I've had them, you know what I mean. I've really paid attention to each and every one of them, so I have a good idea which one is which. Metroid. So this is the first one. First snake I ever force fed. Like I said before, I had to force feed her a few months. And then, uh, you know, I was force feeding the yellowtail Kribo I had. Multiple snakes. Multiple snakes, definitely. But that's the one I learned on. And I wasn't even like assist feeding. I had to actually force feed her with like pinky legs, mouse tails, pinky legs, like uh, 
mouse legs or like the leg of a rat or like the tail of a mouse. Yeah, it's fucking difficult. Alright, Texas Indigo that's not labeled. And this one is the female. My female is lighter. She has more white modeling. Out of all of my dry Marcon, she's definitely the pickiest eater of them all right now. She still eats, but she picks and chooses when she wants to. All of my other dry mark on there all have very good feeding responses. It's all clicked, you know what I mean? It's not work at all. She still, it, even this yellow-tailed Kribo. So I had to force feed this one for a while too. Force feed, assist feed, and then now she eats everything. Her colors are really ugly because she's in shed. And you can see this hump right in the middle of her body, right there. It's like a divot in her. So I was actually sold for a discounted price with her because nothing's guaranteed. But I give her small meals and she's doing great. Not that one. Oh, here up top. Alright, this one is Holly Mao. Very solid black tail. She'll end up in a cage for sure. And uh, I think that's all I really got to say about her. <laughs> She's like a happy medium with like modeling and, and just plain. Uh, like the clean line look she's probably she's like an intermediate you know what I mean she has a little bit of modeling but it's nothing crazy you can tell she's thick she's getting thicker she's definitely thicker than all the other ones other than the big Charles Manson but once they start getting size like this, I mean, it's just taking off because they're going to start eating bigger meals and the head shape's bigger. It's like a snake in its teen years right now. It's like their jawline starts to change everything. It's like it's becoming a man, except it's a woman. You following me? <laughs> Help him shed a little bit. So this is my other male, his name is Simba. He's 100% het for exantic. Very solid black tail too. Simba, where you go? Eye caps. Checking for eye caps really quick. Come on, Pearl. Come on, Pearl. She's my unicolor. Look how modeled she is. I love this snake.
Uno más. Alright, last drive mark on. This one's a, uh, the male Texas Indigo. And I still have it named my Texas Indigos. So I need to make sure they're the right ones for sure. other oh we gotta put Charles Manson back in huh gonna leave these snakes in the water Alright, so the yellow wolf, yellow tail Kribo. And I actually want to get a different, another female, because I have one female. Um, whose name is Guar, but that's the one I just showed you. And I don't want to breed her, because she has that hump. So I just want her to live a nice, healthy, happy life. and get a different female for this one. They're different localities too, so... He switches off between a uh, one of these racks and also one of these cages too, a 4x2 cage. So he gets the best of both worlds just like Charles Manson. Hi Charles. Sorry. Okay. Did you poop in here? It smells like you did. Oh, you did, that's why. I made a video before, okay, maybe like, who knows, a year ago, is Kribo poop that bad? I said no, I had a bunch of baby Kribos, it wasn't that bad. When they're adult snakes, it's fucking disgusting, man. It smells like poop and body odor. That's what Kribo poop smells like. It's disgusting. 100%, that's what it is, huh? Yeah, it smells like fucking poop and a dirty man's B.O. If you want Kribos... Go get them, but that's what it's going to smell like. <laughs>